In this video, we're going to look at the role that monoclonal antibodies play in pregnancy tests. If you're not sure what a pregnancy test is, they generally look something like this, and are a cheap, quick, reliable way of finding out whether a woman's pregnant. The key idea behind them is that pregnant women produce a hormone called HCG, which is excreted in their urine. And this little test kit is able to detect the HCG chemicals. So by weighing on the test strip, which is the orange beer to the end, the test can tell a woman whether there's HCG in her urine, and thus whether she's pregnant. Now, exactly how the test works is a bit complicated. So let's take a look at the test strip by itself, without the plastic casing. The strip has two important parts. On the right side, we have a bunch of monoclonal antibodies that are specific to HCG, which means that they can bind to the HCG hormone if they come into contact with it. And importantly, these antibodies are fixed to the test strip, so they can't move. Then on the left side, we have the part where you wee, which contains blue beads covered in the same monoclonal antibodies as we saw on the right side. So again, these will be specific to HCG. Importantly though, the beads and the antibodies they're attached to are completely free to move around. They're not fixed to the strip. If you wee on the stick when you're not pregnant, the urine will wash the unfixed beads along the test strip. So they'll flow right over the fixed antibodies on the other part, and nothing will happen. So the test strip doesn't go blue. However, if you are pregnant, and so your urine does contain HCG, then that HCG will bind to the antibodies on the blue beads. So now, when the blue beads flow over the test strip, the HCG that they're carrying binds to the fixed antibodies as well, and the beads get stuck in place. By trapping loads of these tiny blue beads, the entire strip appears blue, and it's this blue strip that indicates a positive test result. Also, we just want to point out that most pregnancy tests in real life actually have two lines rather than one, with the second line acting as a control. So you normally need two lines for a positive result. Just remember that different tests do work differently though, so just be sure to read the instructions before you use any. Anyways, that's everything for this video, so hope you found it useful, and we'll see you again soon.